Hi, this is Reggie from Nintendo. Before we begin, we want to extend our condolences to all the victims of the two tragic events in Orlando. Our thoughts are with their families and their communities. And this includes Christina Grimmie, who was killed in the earlier incident and was scheduled to visit us here at our E3 booth this week. At Nintendo, we try to make our fans smile. But this week at E3, will also be shedding a few tears. Please join me in a moment of silence. If you've been a fan of Nintendo over the years, you'll know that the Nintendo experience is different at every E3. We always look for the best way to introduce our most important content. And this year is no different. And that's why we're coming to you directly from our show booth on the set of Nintendo Treehouse Live. On the other side of the wall behind me, the finishing touches are being made before we open it up to thousands of industry insiders in just a couple of hours. That space will immerse visitors in the world of a single game, the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda franchise. What's in store is an entirely new format for a Zelda game. Three decades ago, the first Zelda game changed the way millions of people thought about video games. And this week, you'll discover a game that could change that thinking again. Here's the first look at what awaits. Open your eyes.
The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild introduces you to a Hyrule that is truly seamless. Where simply moving from one place to another begins to create what may be the adventure of a lifetime. And not only is this new world vast, but it feels alive. It teems with adventure. Throughout Link's quest, Hyrule will be a resource, an ally, an enemy, and always a place for discovery and wonder. This is easily one of the biggest experiences ever created by Nintendo. And today, you're going to get a close-up look. The portion of the game we're highlighting at E3, a wide-ranging plateau, may seem huge. In fact, no one here this week will be able to explore all of it. But even then, that plateau is only a tiny fraction of the full game map. We'll be devoting almost this full first day of Nintendo Treehouse Live coverage to just this one environment. Then, in the future, you'll learn more about the story, the characters, and the ways in which the boundaries of all previous Zelda titles are being broken. But in the end, full understanding and full immersion will only come when you experience it for yourself. However, before we show you this biggest adventure for Wii U and NX, we're going to show you the biggest new adventure coming up for Nintendo 3DS. As you've heard, there are two new core Pokemon titles on the way on November 18th, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. As always, you'll pick which new starter Pokemon to partner with. But which one to choose? Exactly what kind of battling awaits you? And what does the new Alola region have in store for players? Well, we figured there was no one better equipped to answer those questions than the two key developers of the game itself, producer Junichi Matsuda and director Shigeru Omori of Game Freak. So before we devote the rest of the day to The Legend of Zelda, I'm going to turn it over to the Treehouse team, along with Mr. Matsuda and Mr. Omori, to show you what it's like to start as a Pokemon trainer in the first ever live gameplay demonstration of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. So let's jump in. Take it away, Sam and Terry. Thanks, Reggie. And thanks to everyone watching for tuning in and joining us for another Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3. We're really excited to get started. So as uh, Reggie mentioned, I'm Sam from Nintendo. And joining me up here, I've got Terry from Nintendo hey. and my colleague David from TPCI. And we've also got our very special guests, uh, Masuda-san and Omori-san from Game Freak, who are joining us to chat about Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Now, uh, Pokemon fans already know that you guys have a very long history of working with the Pokemon franchise. But can you tell our viewers a little bit more about what you guys are doing specifically with Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon? まあ、2人ともあの、ポケモンの開発にま、関わってすごくあの、ま、歴史は長いんですけれども、ま、今回のポケモンサンとポケモンムーンでのま、役割についてを教えてもらえますか。はい。そうですね。あの、今年ポケ
right, so there's a lot for us to talk about just <laughs> from the footage there. Uh, the first thing I'd like to actually uh, ask you is uh, if you could tell us a little bit more about the background of why you went with Sun and Moon as the titles for these games. あの、so there's a variety of meanings uh, behind the titles, but one of the main things is that, for example, for here on Earth, obviously, the sun uh, really is the source of all life uh, on this planet. And in the same way in the Pokemon world, it's also the uh, source of life on the planet. And the moon also affects uh, all of our lives here as well. And with this game, we really wanted to express this kind of feeling of a region really teeming with life. So we felt that sun and moon would be an, an appropriate title for the games. I think especially thinking about these big elemental forces, sun and the moon, uh, we also need to talk about those legendaries that are on the packaging, because I think folks are going to really want to hear a little bit more about uh, what they can expect from those Pokemon. まあ、そう、太陽と、まあ、月の存在の多分表しにもなってるんじゃないかなと思うんですけども、ま、今まで、え、以上に、あの、物語自体にかなり、え、関係してくる認識になりますんで、え、楽しみにしていってほしいなと思います。So in, in the games the legends say that uh, Solgaleo and uh, Lunala are the emissaries of the sun and the moon respectively. Uh, and they these two legendary Pokémon actually they kind of play a unique role. They tie into the story in a unique way that we really haven't done with pairs of uh, legendary Pokémon before. So I think fans will be really excited about it. I think there's a really interesting spiritual element that we get in these games. I won't talk about that too much yet because I know we're saving some surprises, but on the subject of legendaries, I know um, you recently had an event in Taiwan where you revealed some news about another legendary Pokemon folks remember from XY and what they might expect from that Pokemon in these games. Uh, we can maybe talk about that a little bit too? Pokemon <laughs> あの、いよいよあの、10%ジガルデとあの、パーフェクトジガルデがま、3分に登場すると。え、いうお知らせが、え、出ましたけども、え、ま、今回あの、このま、ジガルデも活躍するっていうのがま、あの、ポイントかな
New Pokemon and a really cool environment as well to explore. Lifty to connect with the other lands, the other lands are connected with. There are many different lands, so many lands are going to be coming. I think people will be surprised. There are some cool things to see in there. I've been playing at work and I'm very excited. Get a look at it. I'm just going to play 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 it. サンタイのポケモンなんですけれども、これにこのサンタイについて教えてもらえますか。そうですね。もうどのサンタイももう可愛いんですけれども、今回特にえっと動きについてすごく意識して作ってまして、まあえっとバトル中だったりとか、まあえっといろんな時にこう動きが可愛くなるようなデザインとして作られています。So of course they're all very cute, but one of the things they're really focused on with these three in particular is making their movements really cute when they're represented in the game. Like for example, in battle and other parts in the game, you see them. Moving around and they're really cute, kind of make you want to reach out and touch them almost. あとあのやっぱりこう世界中の人が見てまあこうわかりやすいデザインであったりとかあのタイプのカラーまあ草タイプだったらグリーンが入っていたりとかっていうそのわかりやすさっていうのをやっぱりあの最初の三匹は大事にしています。And another thing we always pay attention to with or really focus on with the initial Pokemon you choose for your partner is making them kind of universally relatable so people from around the world will be able to look at these Pokemon and relate with them very easily and also very easy to understand. Like for example, the grass type Pokemon is going to be green, obviously. So being careful with the colors. I think what folks have seen already from the animations that we've shown in a little bit of video footage we've been able to share they they have a lot of personality. I actually picked Puplio because I'm a hard Core water starter fan. My first was a Squirtle, and I'm stuck with them. But I've been having a great time so far, and I'm I'm we're looking forward to seeing what other folks pick when they get into the starters as well. 最初ゼニガメ選んだのであの水タイプのこの足まりを持って今回いいですね。どれもすごい個性的なので悩むのかなと思います。It's interesting actually what you talked about with the the design of the starter Pokemon. I think they also really fit nicely in with the kind of tropical climate and environment we've got. And I know that's something that you worked in with the design of the player characters as well this time around. まあ今回まあ南の国っていうような設定になっててまあ今のポケモンもすごくそれに合ってる感じだと思うんですけど今回の主人公のデザインもそれを意識されている部分ありますか。そうですね。あのやっぱり暖かい国っていうのを表現する、まあ地方ですね。表現するためにかなり軽装にしています。So yeah, obviously the region this time, the climate there is extremely warm. So we wanted to make sure that the characters, the designs were more lightly dressed than they maybe other designs have in the past. I think fans will notice the proportions are different, especially when we get into gameplay in a couple seconds here. They're going to see it's 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 a little different how they're used to seeing their characters in the game. またあの。まあ今回ちょっとあのこの後キープレイを見せるんですけれども、ちょっとあのあれですね、等身がちょっと変わったっていう話ですよね。そうですね。あのよりこう没入感高めと思って等身上がってますね。今回。So yeah, we we changed the proportions this time to be more realistic. We really wanted to kind of increase this sense of immersion, and I think you'll see that when we get into the game. Yeah, I don't know if we can talk about this yet, but sharp-eyed viewers probably noticed that both of those pieces of art. There was an interesting bracelet that the players were wearing. I don't know if we can probably can't talk about that just yet. Just talking about it, I'm not really talking about it. Just talking about it. Yeah, mind. 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 We probably kept folks in anticipation long enough. So Terry, you want to jump in and show some gameplay? I'm excited for this. Here we go. So I just want to mention, as we get into gameplay here, this game is still in development. So, folks, everything you see here might not be exactly what you're going to see in the final release of the game, but I think we can give you a really good sense of what the game is going to look and feel like as we get started. まあ最初のものではなくて開発中のものです。そうですね。あのこんな早い段階で実はあのライブでも行うのは初めてで、あのどんなポケモンが出るかっていうのもちょっと世界初公開のポケモンも登場するかもしれないんでちょっとドキドキしますね。This is actually the first time for us to show a Pokemon game at this stage in development, kind of via live gameplay. So, not really sure exactly what we're gonna encounter in this. We may see some all new Pokemon that haven't been revealed before. Oh, keep my fingers crossed. That'd be really cool. Actually, as we get started here, Masuda San Nomori San, can you tell us a little bit about the story and the background of what's going on right now in the game? まあ今ここで主人公は何をしている場面になるんでしょうか。そうですね。えっと主人公はですね、アローラ地方に引っ越してきたばかりという設定になっています。で今回すでにまあ少し進めていまして、最初のポケモンはすでにえもらっています。でえー、今からえリリータウンというところでお祭りが開催されるので、そこに向かうところです。So at this point in the game, it's a little bit, slightly into it, but it's the player actually had just moved to the Alola region the other day, and 
one day previous to where we are in the game, he actually uh, received his first partner Pokemon for his adventure. And right now we're actually on the way to a neighboring town where there's a, a festival. Oh. Ooh. And I think here we well, can see what we were talking <laughs> about earlier. Oh, you're just jumping into the low oh, grass. That's also good. <laughs> oh, that's good. 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 あ、びっくりする。レディバーですね。レディバー、いや。えっと、まあ、アローラ地方には他の地方のポケモンも出てきます。はい。So as you can see in the Alola region, obviously it's not just new Pokemon that are unique to the Alola region, but from other regions you see Pokemon. ま、今回あのトレーナーとポケモンっていうものもしっかり描きたいと思って、あのトレーナーが一緒にこうポケモンの後ろにいるっていう。and as you can probably see here in battle, you see the trainer is actually standing behind uh, the, po the Pokemon uh, in the battle. So we really wanted to express this uh, feeling of the trainer always being with his or her Pokemon. Yeah, I'd love to talk about that in a little bit more detail here because I feel like there's so much that you've done with um, uh, the way the battle looks in this game to make it feel really intense and really immersive. I was wondering if we could talk a little bit more about that with what you did with um, the lighting and the dynamic camera angles here. So yeah, there's some cool lighting uh, effects that we're doing here where, uh, for example, like the shadow you see, it's uh, in the evening right now, so it's a bit longer, but depending on the time of day, the, the lighting will kind of affect the mood of the battle. I think here uh, Terry's kind of staying still for a second to let us see how the camera is, is moving around. And this is something that will just happen for you if you're staying still in the battle for a moment. And you really get a good chance to get a look at these Pokemon and the area that you're in and the environment. Mm. 今回カメラもすごいダイナミックさっていう非常に意識して演出を入れていますね。それではですね、デフィネスクオー、ウィチャードメイクスキャンプフィルリーダイナミックスっていうのを非常に意識して演出を入れていますね。今回カメラもすご
Oh, and this is actually something oh. that we should talk about as well. Um, can you tell our viewers a little bit more about um, what they're seeing on the upper screen here? Pretty much, it's a little bit different, but it's a little bit different. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit. ふうに演出しています。いろいろこうどんなポケモンがいるんだろうって考えながら育てたり捕まえたりしてほしいなと思います。So one of the things we wanted to do with the Pokédex this time was really encourage players to again really want to catch them all, really fill up the Pokédex. And one way we've done that, as you can see, there's the Ladybug that's got registered, but next to it is a white Pokéball icon. What that does, that indicates there's an empty space, which means that either it has an evolution or maybe there's another Pokémon out there that kind of forms a pair with it. So that'll kind of encourage players to really want to fill up that empty space, go out and search and you know catch all different types. Types of Pokemon and kind of complete their Pokedex. Yes, especially exciting. I think when you find one and there's lots of white Pokeballs and you're just like, oh, okay. So it's an epic. We've got a lot of work to do. Tackle. Shiro and Monster Ball. That's why I think it's a bit difficult. So next. Oh, next. 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 これは新ポケモンですね。えっ、ー、とヤングースというポケモンです。いつもまあお腹を透かしていて、まあお腹が減っていくとこう怒りっぽくなっちゃうっていうポケモンらしいですね。So as you can see, this is the po new Pokemon called Young Goose.、Um, it's always hungry, so it's always、uh, getting hungry, and then so it's looking for food. But whenever it's hungry, it also gets very aggressive. I love its face. It's so cute. I like the color. I feel kind of bad for it though. I feel like you just throw it a bag of chips or something, and it'd be like, thank you. Always hungry. Always hungry. Oh, 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 And actually, this will give us a chance to maybe take a look at the Pokedex. So we've got a new Pokemon to check out. So we've got some,、uh, some interesting changes coming to the Pokedex in this game.、Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what fans can expect from the new Pokedex? So, this is the first time. So actually, one of the new、uh, things in this game is that we have this、uh, item called the Rotom Pokedex, and Rotom kind of inhabits your Pokedex and actually helps you、uh, in your adventure. So it'll tell you information about、uh, Pokemon that you really want to catch, or、uh, give you tips about how to catch Pokemon, and also kind of guide you on your adventure where you should go next, for example. So it serves as a really cool supportive function. So right here, actually, we're, we're still really early in the game. We don't have the Rotom Pokedex, so the touch screen is just black on the bottom. But you'll get it later. And here, actually, this is a great chance. If we just like take a little quick circle around, we can show off、uh, not only the trainer's proportions, but also the the movement is a little bit different than what、um, folks who played previous Pokemon games have expected. So this is the movement. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, and I, we need to tell players what's going on here、うん、when they're seeing the, the shadow come in. So he's actually doing Lady over there, or the girl throwing a Pokeball up and down, and、uh, so she's a Pokemon trainer, and what、uh, she's obviously going to try and battle you. But what that kind of、uh, shadow that appears on the screen indicates is that there's a that she's going to challenge you to a battle. So it kind of increases this sense of tension of you're about to go into a battle, and that indicates that to the player. So I can either avoid her or actually battle her. Yeah, cool. Battle her, Suruka. Oh, Sakiruka. I think we'll battle her. Yeah, like it feels like that moment where two people are glaring at each other, ready to fight. But it is really nice if you're in a position where maybe you're trying to get somewhere really quickly, or 
your Pokemon aren't in great shape right oh. now. You don't want to fight. It's it's nice to have that second where you can avoid it before you just kind of stumble yourself into a battle. So this Pokemon is very good. Oh, cute. Ah, so this. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I think that's what we can see here. Um, we're seeing the other trainer as well, and it's really nice actually just to get uh, such a good look at the Pokemon proportions alongside their trainers. ポケモンのサイズ感っていうのが結構伝わりますね。そうですね。結構そこそういうところはやっぱりこうトレーナーがいることによって表現できているっていうのが今回の新しいところですね。いや、それは本当にワンオブザニューシングスアイシンクバイ
Boy, game no daigo mi desu ne. This is definitely one of the, I think one of the things that really makes Pokemon a fun game, this kind of like, the sense of tension here. So do we have anything we can give Papu Yoda? I think it's time to go to the festival. Oh, oh so so you're so ready. Awesome. Oh no. We'll just run from this one. Alright. Oh, young goose. Oh, Are you going to heal up after this? Or? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get healed up. We'll get healed up. I think get before we get to up. the festival, because that's... Yep. Not to give too much away, but there's... Hmm? There's more fighting in your future. Mm -hmm. More fighting. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, actually, as we come into the, this area here, we're going to be meeting several different oh. characters that uh, our viewers maybe aren't familiar with. Uh, would you mind just giving us a quick introduction to them? Yes, I'm going to show you a character. I'm going to show you a little bit of a character. Yes, I'm going to show you a little bit of a character. I'm going to show you a little bit of a character. I'm going to show you a little bit of a character. I'm going to show you a little bit of a character. This is Hala. I think it's been revealed uh, already in a uh, video that we've released, but uh, it's a really strong trainer on this island, and he's actually the uh, guy who gives you your first uh, partner Pokemon in your adventure. A very strong trainer on this island. This is how, and you're about to battle him actually as part of this festival. And that's Professor Kukui right there in the white lab coat. He's a professor who specializes in researching Pokemon moves, so like their attacks and such. Yeah, I think based on the fan response I've seen, he is quickly becoming the most dreamy <laughs> professor. <laughs> Thank you for the fan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> And that's uh, Lily uh, behind you there. She's the uh, assistant of Professor Kukui. And she's not a Pokemon trainer, but she'll join you on your adventure throughout the story. And sharp eyed viewers may have noticed her bag is kind of interesting. Is there something there? Yeah. I don't know. I <laughs> I think it's time we go into the festival battle. So I think it's going to be really interesting for fans of the series to see this battle and, and the space. Uh, the way that Pokemon and Pokemon battles are integrated into the culture in these islands is really interesting. And you get these amazing battle spaces where other folks are gathering around and, and watching you guys fight. ま、このやっぱこう人間の社会にもやっぱポケモンとポケモンバトルそのものがこう、え、何て言うんですか、社会の一部にあってすごい大切なものっていうのがすごく伝わりますね。やっぱこういう、え、しっかりしたこう、バ
今回あの、まあ、南の国という設定なんですけど<笑>、うん、やっぱこう研究目的でこういろんな素敵な場所に行けたんじゃないでしょうかあそうですね、まあ<笑>まあ、開発のスタッフでこう実際にハワイに行ってですねいろいろなモチーフを見たり、えー、デザインにも生かされたりしていました。今回の、えー、このセグメントのためにやっぱこうハワイに行ってくればよかったですね。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>これで倒しました。Nice. 一匹倒しましたね。So we saw with the icons as the battle started.、Um, I think Hao has one more Pokemon to go. Hao はあとまあ手持ちがあと一匹ですね。はい。A new skill, nice. Oh, she was a little bit stronger.、Mm. There we see one of the other new starters. Yabby, I'm just kidding. Oh, eh, to. I can't use a more meter to the set in that much day. Eh, to Tataka to this in a eh, to Ika meet a got out of Pokemon. What do they got? Coca got to go to the car. You know, I'm not even in that day. So at this point in the story, you see uh, how has Litten,、uh, which is another one of the first Pokemon you can choose in your adventure. But you've actually encountered,、uh, you battled against him and his Litten once in the story. And so once you've, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, once you've battled the Pokemon once, the next time you battle it, you'll get information on your move list about which moves are effective、right. and which ones aren't. It's super effective. It's super effective. So, you're just explaining that, you know, water gun is a <laughs> super effective reason. <laughs> yeah, what it means to do that. I think、Japanese. I'll stick with that one. Yeah. yeah. So, it's、yeah. just coming back to make it all very easy to understand for even beginners of、oh. the games. Oh. That really is so nice to have that information. I think, especially when you're trying to catch more Pokemon, and you're like, okay, I, I actually maybe don't want to be super effective、yeah. right now. I need to kind of whittle this Pokemon down. So,、yeah. being able to remember maybe you want to use your weaker、oh. attacks sometimes just to kind of get them、yeah. just to that point. I love what a good sport how is about losing too. He's just kind of rolling with it. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> So, I don't think we can go too much further in the gameplay because we're going to start giving away story elements that we don't want to show folks yet.、Um, but you did bring another video for us to take a look at that has、um, a new gameplay mode that、uh, I don't think. Folks have seen before. この先やっぱ実機プレイを進めるとあのまあストーリーのネタバレ的なところも落ちてしまうことになるので、まあここまでにして、ただあのもう一つちょっと映像をあのまあ持ってきていただいて持ってきているという理解なんですけども、初めて今回初登場の新しい新モードという理解です。そうですね。あのポケモンはやっぱりコミュニケーションツールとして今までこう対戦とか交換とかっていうのをやってきたんですけども、まあ今回はさらにこう新しい形でのあのまあバトルっていうものが登場します。So with the、uh, Pokemon series, obviously、uh, using it as a kind of a communication tool, facilitating that communication between players has always been one of the things we've really focused on with the game. So trading and battling between players, of course.、Uh, this time, that's no different. We've got an all-new multiplayer battle mode, which we're calling the、uh, Battle Royale. All right. Well, let's see if our crew can load that up for us, and we、that's、can、so uh, check out the speed play. So, as we get started here, can you tell us a little bit about what the rules are for Battle Royale and how the matches are decided? So, this is the Battle Royale, and the other players are the same as the Battle Royale. So, in this mode, it's actually four players.、Um, each player chooses up to three Pokemon and battles with one at a time.、Um, in this video here, we're just、uh, doing one、uh, Pokemon for the sake of time. このバトルロイヤル、勝敗についてなんですけども、えー、と誰かの手持ちのポケモンがすべ、えー、て倒されたら試合終了となります。So, how this actually works with、uh, how it determines the winner? So, this is a free for all battle,、um, but whenever one of the trainers, when the first trainer to lose、uh, all of his or her Pokemon, that signals the end of the battle. えー、と倒したポケモンの数と,、えー、と残ったポケモンの数の合計が一番多いプレイヤーが勝者となります。And then once the battle is over, once the first person loses all of the Pokemon,、uh, then the, to determine the winner,、uh, the game tallies up each player's、uh, how many Pokemon they've defeated and also how many Pokemon they have remaining on their team. And whoever has that highest number is the winner of the Battle Royale. 
Yeah, I think it's really interesting what this is going to do for strategy as folks are playing, because generally speaking, when you're thinking about how you're going to switch up your Pokemon to fight another trainer, uh, it's only a one-on-one -on -one situation, so you can look at their Pokemon and say, okay, I've got this Pokemon that's going to be strong against this one, but you're worried about two other opponents here, so you really have to think about who's going to fare best against a group. Three other opponents, actually. Yeah, it's... そうですね、あのやっぱこう今までだったらこうチーム戦とかあとまあ1対1のポケモンバトルが、うんえー、多分主流だったと思うんですけども今回はやっぱこう相手、えー、3人気にしなきゃいけないっていうのは、まあ、特徴ですよねそうですね、えーとまあ、今回特徴としてこう4匹いるポケモンの中で誰を倒すかっていうのを考えないといけませんで例えば1匹すごい強いポケモンがいても3人で集中攻撃すれば倒せるといった戦略性もあります So yeah, it's a free for all, and of course, you know, you could have three people gang up on one really strong person, or you really have to kind of determine your strategy about how you're gonna, you know, which order you're gonna defeat Pokemon, who you're gonna focus on. Right. So, totally new uh, gameplay. Yeah, it is interesting how how much more intense it feels. Where I'm used to just looking at the trainer in front of me and fighting them, and suddenly it's like, oh, there's two more trainers. <laughs> I have to pay attention to everybody. <laughs> and folks watching there, uh, you may have caught that the trainers there were wearing different outfits from what we saw with the. Uh, the regular player characters that we've shown off so far. We can't really talk about that yet, but <laughs> worth noticing. So, yeah, you can actually uh, customize your outfits in, the, in this game as well. So. so, we're just about out of time, but before we wrap up, um, I was curious now that you've had a chance to uh, see some fan reaction for these games, um, how's it been seeing how uh, Pokemon fans have reacted for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon? まあ、ちょっと時間が来てしまいましたけれども、えーまあ、今回の、えー、ポケモン3ムーン発表されてから、えー、多分まあファンからの反響というのはあるんですけれども、そのまあ、手応えについてお話してもらえますかそうですね、あのー、今回、えー、7言語から、えー、9言語に中文を、えー、増やしまして、えー、特にその中文使われている人たちからもたくさんあの反響いただいてまして、まあ、自分のツイッターとか、あのー、いただいてるんですけれども。やっぱりこう、まあ、ポケモン20周年ということもあってここからさらにこう広がりを見せるために、まあ、非常にこうみんなが喜んでくれて、まあ、とても嬉しいなと思っています。So uh, yes, the, fan, the reaction from everyone has been really great. You know, I get tons of messages and tweets and everything. Uh, this being the you know the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, uh, one of the goals we really want to kind of you know for the future of Pokemon really kind of expand it to even a wider audience. And as I think you, we've announced previously, uh, in addition to the seven languages we had in uh, X and Y and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, we also added uh, Chinese, uh, simplified Chinese, and uh, traditional Chinese. And I think a lot of the, especially from uh, those regions, like fans have. Really been kind of excited about it and sending me lots of uh, great messages. And、uh, is there anything、uh, final that you'd like to wrap up and say to fans who are watching the stream right now? Just the last thing, the fans who are watching the stream right now. Just the last thing, the fans who are watching the stream right now. Just the last thing, the fans who are watching the stream right now. Just the last thing, the fans who are watching the stream right now. So, yeah, I think、uh, Sun and Moon, we're、uh, really doing a lot of new challenges for, for us here as Game Freak, so I hope everyone really just look forward to the games. Well, thank、hey. you. えっとまあ、自分も完全新作としてのディレクター初めてだったんで、まあ、たくさんの苦労があったんですけどもその甲斐があってすごいいいゲームができたので期待しててください。So there was a lot of challenges for me, especially as、uh, it's the first time directing an, you know, an entirely new generation of Pokemon at Game Freak. But I think we've really、uh, brought the game together. It's really turned into something fantastic, and I hope fans really look forward to it. I, I, I know I'm definitely looking forward to it. And thank you so much、uh, for joining us and giving us some insight into the development work here.、Uh, folks watching again, that was Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, which are coming out for the Nintendo 3DS family of systems this November. So you don't have to wait too much longer. And、uh, please don't go anywhere. <laughs> In a few moments, we're actually going to be coming back.、Uh, Aonuma san is going to be stopping by. To show us some gameplay for a game you might be thinking about,、uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So、uh, please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thank you.